Yes, and elsewhere this morning, three US citizens are due to land back in America in the next few hours after being released from prison in North Korea. President Trump will greet them when they land at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. They were released ahead of a historic meeting between President Trump and North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Our correspondent Harry Horton is in Washington. Good morning to you, Harry. So there's a lot of excitement at their arrival back at the US and a triumphant day for the president. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a big delegation to welcome these three Americans back home. The vice president has just arrived at the airport. We're expecting President Trump and the first lady, Melania Trump, to arrive shortly. And then uh, at some point in the next hour, that plane carrying those three Americans back from North Korea will arrive. Those three Americans have been kept in pretty harsh conditions in North Korea, kept in labor camps as well. But we're told there's a team of American doctors on the plane with them who say that they're now in a fairly good condition. Those uh, three Americans have released a statement as well, thanking President Trump and thanking the U.S. government for their efforts to bring them back home. It was the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo who traveled to Pyongyang to try and secure their release and to try and start those negotiations with North Korea to see if they can bring about an end to North Korea's nuclear program. So lots of positivity at the moment ahead of that summit between Kim Jong-un and President Trump. But the real test will come in the next few weeks uh, as to whether the US can convince North Korea to rid itself of its nuclear weapons. We'll see. Harry, thanks for that update. That's Harry Horton there in Washington with the latest.